one of the issues and challenges, even in the era I was there, is that Sri Lanka has a highly regulated economy. Uh, there is, frankly, a great deal of protectionism to protect a number, a handful of vast conglomerates that, uh, that are in every possible business that you can imagine in Sri Lanka. And there was also, frankly, a lot of corruption uh, then and now. And so if you're a, a credible, reputable international investor, uh, you could readily articulate all the advantages of Sri Lanka. Once you enter the, the bureaucratic political labyrinth of trying to invest, it gets very uncomfortable very fast. And so my respectful advice uh, and concern for, the, for my many friends in Sri Lanka is try to see if there are ways to create economic conditions through reforms that would make international investors readily accept and take up the very attractive possibilities of Sri Lanka. Geographic positioning, amazing human talent, uh, out of the world design skills. I mean, it is a design superpower uh, and it has so much else besides, but a lot of foreign investors come take a look and get scared away. And there's gotta be some soul searching about why that is.